Okay, we are back. It is time for Gervonta Tank Davis versus Roly Romero. I know, by the way, guys, I'm not streaming tonight. I'm sorry. I was working on some things behind the scenes so that we have a really, really good stream coming up. Stay tuned for that. But while we're here, I'll just do this now. I'm taking Gervonta Davis by, I think, seventh round TKO slash KO. For as hard as Gervonta Davis hits for 135 pounds, he's still one of the more technical guys, I think, in this division. Roly's still pretty inexperienced at 35 at least at the top level only 14 fights he is undefeated but when you start to get to this level everyone either is undefeated has one loss and they're holding belts that's what i'm going with gervonta davis round seven stoppage let's see what happens all right here we go round number one roley comes out orthodox obviously tank in the southpaw stance Always got to watch the lead foot game, right? You're going to see some collisions with that lead foot, guys stepping on each other. I think it's always beneficial, especially early, to utilize that outside foot position. Just gives you a, a nice clean lane down the pipe for your straight backhand. Romero's popping that jab out, but Gervonta's trying to time it, pull, and throw the left hand off off of it tough to say who wins round one uh really definitely was attacking the body with the jab gervonta more volume working his jab in his backhand answering Roly with the backhand as well so i think round one goes to gervonta round two oh gervonta already fainting out that uppercut stepping back trying to faint that out get Roly to walk onto it and Roly is getting out of range pretty quick obviously he's aware of that left hand right oh nice one two from Roly and Roly shoves tank down to the ground referee warns him about it here we go right hand to the body then right hand up top lands on tank Roly having a nice second round here big right hand Roly he definitely has found something here three straight right hands have landed on on Gervonta as he's coming forward there's the end of the round. I, that's a better round for Roly. I thought Roly had a couple of combinations that landed in succession. Uh, Gervonta did answer with one big straight left hand, but I do think the totality of the round goes to Romero. Round number three. We'll see how Roly does after, I would assume, gaining confidence from being able to put Gervonta on the back foot that round, land some big time shots. Let's see if he gets a little punch drunk with that on that big right hand and over commits and then Gervonta blasts him with something. Or if he can just maintain that jab, keep moving forward and land a big one when the space is closed. Ooh, look at that step in left hook from Roly. Nice check right hook there from Gervonta Davis though too. He's still very fast, very powerful. You can't over commit, right? Because he's still there. Woo! He is really, really peppering Gervonta Davis with a straight two and then the jab behind it usually you have your one two instead he's boom boom catching him with the jab as the finishing combo he's caught he's caught him like three or four times with that it's an interesting third round good finish from Gervonta but Roly again had another great round I got a 2-1 Roly right now I thought it was 1-1 one, one through 2, got it 2-1 Roly after the third. Tank found something at the end of round 3 there. I'm expecting him to really come forward and use that in round 4. And again, Roly's doing a good job of just keeping himself active on the front foot because they haven't been very active with the hands yet. Still a bit of a feeling out process from both guys, but Roly's done a good job of keeping Gervonta on the back foot and controlling not only the ring, but also the pace in which they fight. Look at the counter there, the 1-2 counter again from Roly up the straight left hand from Tank. Ooh, nice 1-2 right there from Gervonta. Davis he's found success with that backhand pretty much the entirety of the time he's thrown it oh big left hand from Gervonta Roly eats it keeps coming forward now we're starting to open up a little bit it's what I like I can see it being 2-2 but I can also see it being 3-1 to Roly tough here we go round number five. Oh, straight left hand Tank Davis lands that one flush that was nice. Roly eats it and comes forward. Another straight left hand. Hold on here, folks. Roly keeps walking forward, pumping his jab out, goes to the body. Nice lead hook. Uh-oh. Gervonta might have hurt himself. Gervonta threw a big left hand and hurt himself. It hit nothing. It, he swung and hit air, but he audibly yelled like, Arr. as soon as he threw it. We'll see, though. In between rounds, we'll see what happened. Because he was for sure winning this round before that but now he's back on the back foot and he's very reluctant to throw right now i think round five has to go to gervonta i want to see if he's he's gonna throw that backhand because we saw in the cruise fight when he hurt his backhand he, the rest of the fight he was having a hard time throwing it so let's see here left hand from gervonta davis and then roley hits him a little low with the straight right hand return i nice straight left hand to the body i nice straight left hand to the body again roley's not acknowledging these shots but they are landing but they are landing they are landing whoa big left hand gervonta and he drops roley oh baby oh my goodness that is why you don't exchange with the tank oh roley's on wobbly legs referees tell him it's over he waves it off it's over gervonta davis oh my god it was a beautiful step back boom overhand left 
from Gervonta off the back foot on the ropes. Yeesh! And Roley's gonna regret two things there. One, that he fights with his chin up so much, and two, that he opened up to a degree with the right hand continuously that allowed Gervonta to make the read and finally find that chin because there was a couple of left hands that Gervonta threw that just didn't land. Like, continuously, that were just right by the ear. This is why you can't be too over-aggressive even at these lower weight classes with a guy in Gervonta who's lighter than pretty much everyone else. He hits like a fucking Mack truck. And it was that same combination. That straight right hand to the body and he tried to follow it up with the jab, the 2-1, and his momentum carried him into a shot that his chin was not ready to accept. Good lord. There was no doubt in my mind that fight should have been stopped when the referee instructed him a couple of times, hey, walk to your left, and Roley just kept shaking his head. He's like, okay, yeah, no, I, I'm gonna. And then he tries to walk to his left and it, and it just, it was, he wasn't there. So I don't have a problem with the stoppage. Ultimately, this fight came down to Roley fighting with his chin in the air, his inexperience maybe in a bigger fight like this. Even though, again, I thought he was fighting well. I thought he was finding his spots with his jab, showing Gervonta he wasn't afraid to enter range with his right hand, but patterns caught up to him. And there was a couple of times during this fight where Gervonta would throw a counter, big counter left hand, off the 2-1 combination that Roley would throw because he would enter range. He would float into range with it. He would give up some of that space. Gervonta landed the big time shot. Woo! You would have to think he's at least somewhere in the talks of getting that fight with George Cambosis slash Devin Haney, whoever wins that fight. He has to be close to somewhere in those talks, right? He has to be. Gervonta Davis is a problem. For who? Everybody at 135. What's next for him? I don't have those answers, but I am... Very, very excited to see. So I guess we'll find out.